Right then, it's that time of year again, and we're back once again for the Star Sports Cheltenham video preview blog, whatever you want to call them. But more importantly, we have got a stellar panel assembled for you today. Yeah, so Alistair's kept his place. All of those looking for a miracle at Cheltenham in two weeks' time, this is living proof that miracles do happen. <laughs> Toby Laws, uh, assistant trainer to the all-conquering Nicky Henderson, reigning Cheltenham champion and Grand National winner Davy Russell, and City AM racing editor Bill Esdale. Uh, but the Supreme is where we'll start. We've all got a minute each on the Supreme and then we'll have an argument at the end. But you can go first. Don't Alistair. need a minute. Okay. Uh, very boring favourite, old dogs. Okay, your, fee, your fee is going to be dramatically reduced. I just, <laughs> look, look, I saw the horse for the first time the other day uh, at Ascot. First time seen him in the flesh and I just thought, that is some beast, and I thought he'd won that bet fair before it started in terms of just how he looked. He dwarfed them and did it very well. There's a good record of horses in this race who run well in that. Yeah, none of them have ever won. Though. No, but I think this is the one that's going to break that particular mould. Right, Mr Laws, you do have Angel's Breath who his world came slightly crashing down last weekend. Uh, he's still a seven to one chance of the race and he can win the race, but that certainly wasn't ideal. Do you think he'll still head for this race or would the Ballymore be a, be a possibility? Um, well, it, it's, it's not certain that he'll head for this race, but it is probably the, the much more likely. Um, yeah, the, it was disappointing um, at the weekend. What they was didn't the post-mortem at Seven Barrows? Well, Nick, Nico, Nico said that sort of like he took a, he took a good blow coming into the home turn, and um, which sort of surprised us slightly. But at the same time, sort of he's a very relaxed horse at home um, and finds his work very easy. Um, so actually, you know, and he would have been one of those horses that you could have sort of carried on racing and racing and racing had we not been interrupted by this that and other. Um, I still think he's an incredibly good horse. I think Cheltenham was shooting very well. He's very professional. Um, I think he's got every right to be in the top three in the betting, um, and I think I think I think he'll run an absolute crack if he runs in that. I mean, um, Nicky said that he's at a similar stage to Altior. He's a similar animal in terms of ability. That's quite some. Cool. Yes, yeah. No, he look, he shows he shows plenty at home, and obviously finds it pretty easy. Um, yeah, he 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 could be anything. I think he's he's got a, he's got a very so he's a very level-headed horse, I think, um, and I think he's professional, and I think he's got everything, everything in his favour. Are the defeat horrible the call? Middle. Two miles or two and a half. Where do you actually think he'll end up? I, I, th I think too. Uh, I think he's he's very much. He's got plenty of speed. He's very much a supreme type. Obviously, he could go two and a half. It's it's up to sort of die, etc. Um, but I, I think he is more of a supreme horse. Davy. Delighted you're here to join us. I can tell you that 110% of the comments on these videos last year were those tossers haven't put one Irish up between them. We didn't select one Irish horse, I don't think, in 25 races last year. So who better than yourself to, to give us an insight to the Irish horses coming over? Not a, a vintage crop of Irish horses in the, in the juveniles this year, but give us a lowdown on what your thoughts are of their chances of winning this race this year are. Yeah, it's it's a, it's an extraordinary year. Um, I suppose. Look, Willie's horse Aramon. He's had a, a a busy season. He started off in Galway, I think, or Listowel or somewhere, and uh, has continued out through. I think he's kept surprising him um, that he's kept winning. And if it comes down to um, if it comes down to just raw ability, I, I I think maybe he might just lack it. But he has an awful lot of experience under his belt. Um, I'll, I'll dancer, I suppose you're going on a rate of a 151 or 152, and I think um, <coughs> uh, Nicky's horse, um, JP's horse, that, that finished second in the race before the horse that runs in the champion hurdle, used to run the champion hurdle. Yeah, yeah. No, he's pal. Come on, now, between us, we can get this. <coughs> what's, what's the horse? Um, he was, he was second in quite a number of festivals. My ten to oh, yours. Yours. sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, why sorry. he gets the big butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that white wine's kicking in. I wonder what about Al Dancer's <laughs> form. Was he, like, yeah, yeah. he won off of uh, one four nine, I think, or one one five one fifty. Whereas Al Dancer won won the race off one four one, I think. Um, 
but it's not a great race. I'm just thinking that something is going to come from left field. Mm. Um, what is it? It, it, it? it could well be Armon. I'd be surprised, but I, I'm a huge fan of Angel, Angel's Brett. I was really impressed by him at the weekend, uh, albeit he got beaten, but still he galloped to the line. I'm, 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 I'm very impressed by Angel's Brett. Knowing Di Waters like you do, would you think he's the sort of guy to happily run two horses in the same race or would you think he'd like to separate them out if he could oh no absolutely he, he'll run the horses in the race that suits that, that they have the best chance in uh, Di is a sportsman he knows he's been in the game quite a long time so he's going to be dealing with two very professional men in, in, in um, Nicky and um, Nigel Twist and Davis so he'll take, a, he'll take all them things on board so I wouldn't Head, headmaster down the end um, please, please. I think Al Dancer is a proper horse I mean, I, th I was really impressed by the way he travelled. Um, uh, Ascot, I think he's, he's, he's the obvious one, but at the prices, I mean, looking down the list, I think um, Elixir de Nuts, the Tizard horse, is, is the kind of forgotten horse in the race. You know, he's, he's the, a grade one winner, all one at Cheltenham, all grounds kind of come easy to him. Um, I agree with what Davey says about potential left fielders. Um, Thomas Darby uh, could be any price, but he, he would definitely interest me, but um, if you put a gun to my head, I'd, I would have to go with Al Dancer. I think he's the one they've got to beat. Cool. Wow. We haven't really argued enough. I thought this video yeah. would go on longer. There's, there's, there's plenty of time. Dave's made, Dave's <coughs> made a very good point. Rather like the whole season, there are no sort of absolute superstars in this race. It's been a really mm. weird, disjointed year that hasn't thrown up that usual crop of three or four young horses going mm. to Charlton about whom I mean, everyone is getting highly overexcited. But there's, yeah. there's, no, there's no superstars going into Cheltenham, but there's every opportunity yes. for superstars yeah. to come out of it. And How do you? Can, can I just use the opportunity to put, actually put Mr. Uh, Case forward for Mr. Fisher? Yeah. Uh, because I, I utterly adore this horse. This is one of the best looking horses you'll ever see. Um, and he has done nothing this year apart from improve, strengthen up, grow. Um, and I, I said something the other day, so, you know, he's one of those horses, if he'd had, you know, another year, he'd be even bigger and stronger. You know, like, like Altior had, had a, a second year in bumpers. And I, I genuinely think if he'd had a second year, he could be an even money favourite for a Supreme. I think he, he has so much potential and I wouldn't be surprised if he, if he came up that Does he time. show a lot at home? Huh? Does he show he shows it? plenty at home, yeah. Well, ten yeah. to one might be worth taking. Then, certainly, if you and, and certainly, you know, I know the ground's going to be sort of good to soft. It won't, it won't be so very good right, I'm going to press you, start from the end, Bill. Um, the most likely winner <coughs> of the race from each of you, please. Uh, Al Dancer, boring, but Al Dancer for me. Angel's Breath. Angel's Breath. I'm back to Angel's Breath, because I think Al Dancer for me. For me, it's Al Dancer as well, but... All those prices are there, everything mentioned, just get yourself on the website, that's starsports.bet, anything you need, all the prices are there, good luck in the Supreme.